And then a, another big one is, um, of course, uh, Sting. Yeah, what a run, man. <laughs> like, I understand runs. What a run. He, I think, got in the business a good two years before I did. I think he broke in in like like 1985, somewhere in there. Okay. I remember seeing him and uh, uh, the Ultimate Warrior. He was the Dingo Warrior yeah. in Dallas, uh, which was where I broke in. Um, I remember seeing those two guys uh, as a tag team there. And then, you know, they, they obviously split up and, and – you know, Warrior went to uh, Warrior went to New York, and Sting ended up at uh, WCW. I don't know if Sting ever went to um, to work for um, Mid South, but I mean, what a what, what a run he had with WCW. I mean, oh, just, he maybe the face of WCW uh, when you think oh, about at times, the, definitely, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, obviously they had some big they had some big stars and. Um, but I, I think, yeah, I mean, he's one of the cornerstones of that company, uh, early '90s through the, you know, through the 2000s. I mean, he was just. Uh, I don't think there was anybody in that company that was any bigger. And he did something very similar to you. I mean, he did a character change. <laughs> yeah, that was um, a big one. Yeah, it, it was a big one, it, and it's it's a, it's always a roll of the dice, man. Yeah. It really is. People can either, you know, they can either accept it. Or they can crap all over it, and uh, it, it it was cool. It was kind of a, uh, I think it was kind of a, uh, the, what's the movie, the Crow themed yeah. kind of a deal. Yeah. It was kind of a dark deal. Um, yeah. So I wonder now, like like everywhere I go on any given day, you get the yeah, I get the question. Yeah. I always call it the question. Like when I do the one dead man show. Uh, yeah, I just wait with, you know, I was like, oh, well, when's it coming? Because I know it's going to come. And, yeah. and it's always like, what, what, why didn't you and Sting ever have a match? Or why didn't, you know, this happen or that happen? Which would have been, man, that would have been huge box office. It just didn't yeah. work out. And he never came over to, I yeah. mean, he did, but it was just such a, he, he was a sh very short run in WWE. Short run in WWE and Vince didn't want it. Not for whatever reason, I don't I don't know what it was. Um, he just didn't uh, he didn't feel it, and you know everybody else was like, <laughs> mm. you I, know, yeah. people have been clamoring for this match for quite a few years now. I mean, as soon pretty much, I don't know a year in a year or two into his turn or in, into that character change. I mean, people were already, uh, you know, they were sending me artwork with the with the billboard or the poster really? right you know and so um yeah it just it just never worked out and then it got you know then it was two when he got there the match would have been good but i don't think it would have lived up to the expectations that people have for it i mean people always think about things in in a, in a certain sense like they they, I think they thought in their mind of Undertaker 2007, 2008 versus, you know, Sting. Yeah. It was later on than that. And, um, you know, I can, I can say, you know, I was on the, you know, I was way on the backside of, of what I was going to do when he got there. And um, we may have thought that he was too, but apparently he, well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he hung on. But, <laughs> it, but, but the thing, the, the smart thing that he did was, he 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 was booked judiciously. Yeah. He wasn't put into situations where he might have got exposed and 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 not be able to maybe keep up with the younger talent. It was very, very that was you know that I don't know it was probably him I would imagine yeah. um because you have to you have to understand your limitations because a lot of times people <clears throat> will you know they'll get caught up in the moment and, oh well, let's put let's put Sting in the ring with such and such. Yeah. And I'm I'm just talking about you know I'm just talking about the uh, I'm just talking about AEW. Um, you know there would have there have been tons of of single matches for him, but um, you know he kind of took a you know he took uh, what's the other kid's name? Uh, Darby Allen. Darby Allen. You know there was a, there was a little bit of chemistry there. 
Um, and, you know, Sting was kind of that big brother type role. Putting him in a tag team as well at this point of his career was a smart move. It's a very smart move because you can, you can, you don't, you know, you don't get exposed. You yeah. can very creatively pick and not your point. You pick and your when spots. you're saying exposed, it's not the fact that Sting doesn't have the talent. It's just Father Time. Had, Father it, Time has never lost. Yeah. yeah, he's undefeated. <laughs> he is, he, he's, you know, and believe me, I know, I, and I feel like I can speak on this and I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to say anything disparaging about Sting. Yeah. I mean, it's, it is what it is. Like, in my heart and my mind, if I could, I would still be in the ring. Yeah. But I had to come to the cold, hard facts that, like, what my mind's eye and my heart feel, my body wants no part of. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It just wants no part of it. And it doesn't allow me to, um, you know, it doesn't allow me to do the things that I want to do. Could I go out there on my on my sweat equity and and what I've done? Hell yeah, I could. I could go out there because I don't. I mean, you know, I'm not patting myself on the back, but I don't think there's anybody in the business that can throw a punch like I can throw a punch. Yeah. And you know, I can choke slam. I'm not messing up my brand new knees with a tombstone. <laughs> but I could walk out there and 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 you know, I could shuck and jive and, and smoke and mirror it and make people feel like they saw something, but that just ain't, that's just not right. Yeah. yeah it, it's just people pay too much money to be entertained properly. And you well, know. that's the difference in having that mindset of being able to walk out, walk away with gas left in the tank. And, yeah. you know, um, even, I don't even know how old sting is. I mean, he's, he's 61. I think, I think, I know he's older than I am. What's insane is the fact that he's 61 and still looks pretty good in the ring. Like he can still, no, he can still, he move. still move. Yeah, he can still move. Yeah. And, 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 and work, which I think is a testament to what he's done. Going back to what you said just a little bit ago of, you know, maybe proper booking and everything else. I think WCW did a really good job when he made that character change as well with him right. because. Um, we say it all the time. We've said it, I think, almost every episode. He can tell a story. Mm -hmm. And what they were doing with the NWO and, I mean, the, the the heat that they had and everything else, he could come in and not even have a match. Right. And yeah. he was – I don't know. You have to go back and look at the numbers. But, I mean, I don't know how many matches he was having per year during that run with the NWO and him coming out of the, the rafters and stuff. But – he would come out of the rafters on a Monday night with a baseball bat, clear the ring, be in the ring for five minutes, and never actually have a wrestling move. Right. And blow the roof off the place. Yeah. Yeah. And, I know, and I'm not sure because I wasn't there, but if I'm not mistaken, like all those top guys were not making the house shows. They weren't doing live events. They were doing TV. And <laughs> that's good living. <laughs> no, it is good living. And, and that's... You know, WWE still runs live events, but I mean, even they are more judicious with their with their talent. Yeah. You know, so that it keeps me. I mean, the 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 model now is is so good. I mean, it, it's a it's a money making machine. But he didn't have, I don't think, the wear and tear on his body because he wasn't having to grind it. Um, out on the road. Yeah. Every, I mean, he paid his dues. Don't oh, get me wrong. Early on. I mean, in the yeah, 80s, yeah, early yeah, 90s. Yeah. That, he, he paid yeah. his dues and, and, and earned that. And they were smart enough to, like, you know, let's luckily take care him, of our top was, guys. Yeah, luckily yeah. for him, he was able – they were able to do that to him, you know, those mid to late 90s to where it was a, it was able to put a little bit more tread on those tires for him yeah. later in his career. And um, I, I think something that's a little – that's kind of impress, impressive with him is the fact that he never had that long run at WW at WWE, which I feel like a lot of times since call it late eighties, you needed a run with WWE to be a top guy in the wrestling industry, in my opinion. Yeah, that, that, that's fair. That's a fair. And statement. he was able to do it without that big run mm -hmm. at WWE. Yeah, no, his his little short amount of time. I don't. I think people forget about it. I, I mean, I, I, I don't. You know, I think he would have been even bigger, but. You know, I don't think it tarnishes his legacy one bit because oh, he was, you know, he was a loyal soldier, man, to, uh, you know, WC, WCW as long as he could be. And then, obviously, he went, I think, to TNA and, and did some stuff there, yeah. um, you know. Did you see 
um, while you were working in, in that switch, did you see a lot of Undertaker in him when he when he made that switch? Um, yeah, there, there was. It, yeah, obviously, it was a dark, a darker character, yeah. more brooding type character. Um, you know, of course, you know, I, and I'm sure, you know, there was things I would have done differently, but uh, I thought he did a great job, uh, especially from being the 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 colorful charismatic malibu sting malibu sting yeah <laughs> all that you know with the cropped flat blonde mo uh you know flat top kind of yeah you know, i mean to go from that to um this dark brooding character um, kids loved him he's yeah you know, i mean he sold stuff. tons of merch which I, I mean he sold tons of merch you know as you know as the dark say what's his what's the i don't even know what the everything has like i have um, eras of like, yeah like and the, the purple era the and he because he had that malibu sting he had like the i guess it i mean i feel like they may have called it the crow or something i, mean, I, I have to yeah. look it up i mean i'm not dark sting whatever, yeah, it, was. whatever it was yeah. um because you had like nwo sting where he did the red and black face right. paint and stuff right and, but uh no he did a good job with it and i'm just uh i mean just can't do anymore but giving congratulations on a a tremendous career and you know he's he's upright and walking away from it so yeah i think uh, something um uh that was very interesting that i think uh where we're seeing a little bit of change with wwe is they acknowledged his match and his retirement on monday night raw well there's certain people in the industry uh, i mean that's just I mean, I, you know, we're 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 in competition with a different company. I get it, but Sting's legacy is is so much bigger than AEW or any of that. Yeah. I mean, he he deserved that, and I'm I'm happy that as a company that that they acknowledged it because it's only right. Me too. Yeah, that was. Uh... That was something that I think it was surprising to everyone. I mean, it kind of was all over the internet. That <laughs> yeah, and it, it, you know, it's that's just yeah that that whole AEW WWE is it's kind of like politics, man. It it's is like it, it you know it's either you're red or you're blue, you're conservative, yeah. you're liberal, but whatever. The, but the but reality it, is, most people are in the middle and they're yeah. watching both. Most people are yeah. watching. They're you know they're wrestling fans, yeah. and then you know they just accept the fact that. You know, this is this is a true iconic, uh, you know, star within the wrestling industry. Yeah. So it's like baseball. You know, sometimes I do like going to watch minor league baseball. And um, <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> sometimes you see the guys that used to be in the majors, and they wow, you know, get to, they're maybe they're they're working out a pitch or mm. something. You get to see them in uh, at your uh, local minor league. Uh, Baseball stadium. Yeah. Um, and on that note, 